couple of different projects for decoupage. I'm going to do a few decor items. One of them is going to be on metal. So I'm going to see hopefully how it works out. I've got to flip up my camera. So hang on because I can't figure out how to work the two things at once. So I'm going to move the camera. Give me, give me a second. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I hope you guys are doing wonderful today. I am doing wonderful. I am at Topsail Beach, North Carolina, where there is a sunny 73 degrees, which is a beautiful spring day. I got gifts from Dollar Tree for $3, and see, I haven't even taken off the thing. Hopefully, you guys can hear me, because I sometimes have issues with my sound, and my internet keeps kicking out. So, if you lose me, I do apologize. Or if I lose you, however you want to say that. So, let me take off this plastic. And actually what I'm going to do with this is I am going to put the um, master board. Uh, this is um, industrial master board. And I'm going to put this thing from stencil from Magnolia Design Company on top of it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So you guys can drop a link or I'm sorry, drop a comment in the message in the comments so I can see that you guys can hear me and I am good to go, please. I would be grateful. Um, I am going to, it's not quite big enough, as you can see, it's not quite big enough, but I'm going to fix it. It'll be okay. So I'm going to light it up and I'm going to pour it over to the edge. Okay. So I am going to... Look at that. I think must have not have shut that tight last week. Look at that. Made a mess. And it's stuffed up. Well, I could fix that real quick. Hang on. I am using Tough Coat from Fusion. I got this little squirt bottle thing from Dollar Tree, and it looks like I did not shut the lid, so it kind of gooped up in there. But it all works. So, oop, there it goes. Note to self, close the lid when you're done with your product so they don't goop up. I can hear myself for some reason. <laughs> Got an echo going. I know it, yep. Okay, thank you. Yep. Okay. He's going to turn the heavy metal back on. So if you hear. <laughs> okay. This little thing, I need to clean it. And it's not working for me today. So I'm just going to open it up and pour it out. Hopefully I don't make too big of a mess with it. Okay. So. I am going, got me some chip brushes from, these are from um, Harbor Freight. Words are not coming to me freely today. So I am just going to put some down the side here. I'm just going to put this in. I'm going to start smoothing that out. I'm making sure I got enough all the way around. Glad you guys can join me today for a project. I am Holly Miller with Country Road Crafts, and I'm at Topsail Beach, North Carolina, and I am actually going to decoupage this little piece of board, and I'm going to put a Magnolia Design stencil on top of that. Um, I used to have problems with it, but uh, what I figured out is that you have to first let it dry, and then you have to put a 
wax on top to seal it because the um, stickiness of the um, stencils from Magnolia Design will pull back up the paper if you don't wax it good. So it kind of seals it a little bit and it puts like a little barrier between the um, safety collage tissue and the actual sticky stencil. Okay, there we go. So, you guys have a busy week so far? It's been uneventful so far. Hopefully you guys are getting beautiful weather where you're at. I would love to see your comments. Either you're not commenting or the comments ain't working again. Hopefully. And if they're not working again, when I get done, I'll go back through and answer any questions that come up. But it looks like it might be working. I have it on. I'm going through StreamYard. So I think there's a link there you'll have to click real quick so I can see your name. But you don't have to. You can let me know. Frank's got a little cold going on. He had a sinus infection this weekend. Um, I've been attending a personal branding uh, uh, classes this week from Ati and um, learning a lot. Can you guys see me? I didn't lose you. Okay, cool. Sorry. <laughs> I told you I have to keep watching it because I don't know why it keeps doing that. Sorry, I don't know. My browser disconnected for a second. <laughs> Central test, uh, Texas and the weather is fabulous. Fantastic. Oh. Okay. Long as my my computer doesn't die, like it just my screen just picked out. I don't know why I did that. I don't care about the noise today. So as I was saying, I'm working on a I'm doing a workshop this week for personal branding with Ati, and um, so if you guys see some different types of posts and some questions, I'm trying to figure out why I do what I do. I do it because it's fun. But uh, I gotta figure out why I do it and how to market it. Still trying to learn all that mess. Because I'm trying to run a business and I'm not, I don't have a business degree. And I have a full time job during the day for now. In a few years, I would like to retire. And keep stay with my business so I can work for myself. That's my goal. One of these days, it's challenging for me. Um, I don't like to share a lot of personal things. And I have ADHD, so a lot of the things I kind of forget to do or forget why I do it. So I have to write everything down. And if I lose one of my notebooks, forget it. But... Um, I'm trying really, really hard. I think it's it's fine. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. It may take me a while. So, again, what I'm working on today is just some decor items. I'm just going to do this little, um, I'm going to do this little uh, sign today that says, that ha this is industrial master board, and I'm going to put this sign here from, um, Magnolia Design Company. I had some issues with those before. I just want to show you a little trick that I learned. Donna. Glad you talked to me, Donna. I hope you guys can hear me. I'm not sure if anybody else can hear me or if my screen hasn't blacked out again. It looks like it's still working. So what I'm doing is just putting this on, putting some, I'm um, using uh, Tough Kilt by Fusion. And I'm not worried about the, um, it has wrinkles in it. I'm not really worried about the wrinkles. I don't care if it has wrinkles. Some folks, I have issues. So if I worry about the wrinkles, I will never get this project done. I like the wrinkles. It gives it character. 
if you don't like the wrinkles, you can take a piece of, um, what is it called? Parchment paper, and you can take an iron on, I think it's cotton, and with a piece of parchment paper between the iron and the paper, and it will heat back up your, um, your whatever you're using for your um, top coat or uh, medium and it will it will get the wrinkles out. I've did that before. I'm not quite sure what I did with my um, little scraper. It's probably on the kitchen table. I did my last. Okay, so there's this. I'm going to take this and I'm going to take a um, sanding block and get it off the edge here. So I'm just going to leave it off the edge a little, as you guys can see. And I'm just going to go straight down. Thank you guys for joining me today. See, it wasn't quite big enough there at the top, so I'm going to fill it in with what's left over here. So give me a second to get all this off. I'm going to turn it around further. There's a little tiny bit on this edge, so I should have put it up the top, but I didn't. That's okay. I'm just taking this block straight up and down, trying to get this little bit here. Oh, see, I'll rip that out right there. That's okay, I can fix it. And I'm just going to make sure this edge is good. There's a little tiny bit hanging off the edge right here. So, oh. Hope everybody else is having good weather. You're having a wonderful week. I feel like I'm having a productive week. I hope I'm having everybody else feels like they're having a productive week. Okay, so now how I'm gonna fix this is I'm thinking about putting this one in, but I'm actually thinking now I just might paint it. Because it's just a little teeny tiny bit. I think I can just paint that. Let me see. Real quick, let me find my paint. It's over on the table because I put it further away. Now my green right here. It's fusion. I'm just gonna touch it. How about that? I just want to touch up a little bit. Just gonna touch it up. It'll be a little darker, but I'll blend it in. It'll be okay. I actually might put this around the edge too. Blend it in, put it here. Do you guys fix how do you fix little issues with your decoupage? Do you guys have any secrets? I'm just trying to paint it in, or I would take little pieces of this and put it in, but it's just so little. I can, I can paint this in. This is not going to hurt anything to blend it all together. And it look right now, it looks like it doesn't blend in well, but I could, it's going to be fine. So I'm going to just paint the edge this color green because I want the edges to be green instead of, instead of wood color. And I just got a small brush. I probably got these from my, um, sorry, 
These are cheap ones, but I probably got them. Yeah, they look like they're the artist loft ones from um, Dollar Tree. I have a Dollar Tree, which is scary, like three miles from here, which is not good for the budget because I love Dollar Tree. But uh, hey, Kelly, how are you? Glad you can join me today. I am working on uh, this little sign with decoupage, and I'm going to put some stencil on it. So how's the weather, Kelly, in South Carolina? Can you guys see? I can't tell if you guys can see. Hopefully you can see. You can't see me. Oh, let me see. I'm probably going to get paint all over me. It's okay. Kelly is in one of my groups with me. I met her in Savannah when I went to um, a small business owner retreat, which I am terribly missing my friends that I met there. Terribly, terribly. And Frank had a good idea. We all should schedule a mini vacation, the ones that are close that can, in Myrtle Beach. We all do a craft event or something together, just meet somewhere and do crafts or something like that. That sounds like an awesome idea. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Kelly's a fellow squirrel. There we go. And we are squirrels in trouble, usually. Squirrels that create trouble, maybe. So, yeah, that does sound amazing. If it's nobody else, it's, it can be me and you, Kelly. Or anybody else that wants to join us because i am an hour and a half from myrtle beach and kelly's about two hours from myrtle beach and i definitely i don't like the beach so much but myrtle beach is not bad there's not there's more to do than just go to the beach i live six miles from the beach it's okay tour season's not great here busy the town's not big enough for all the tourists that come it's okay. I go to Jacksonville and tourists get to Snedesbury. And I'm not a tourist. Oh, look, one more side, one more side, one more side. Oh, my hands are getting pain on me. Oh, we can do art in a park in uh, Myrtle Beach. How about that? And Frank can take pictures. Sweet. There's a big old park down there. I love that one park. Me and him. If you go on my Facebook page, you can see the park or the pictures that we took at Myrtle Beach last year, and they were in a park. And we can probably do some painting in a park. And Frank can take pictures while we paint. I got my hands are sticking to everything. Okay, how about that? So, I'm going to get that there. I'm going to take a little of this because I didn't get the edge right there. So we might have to schedule us Art in a Park Day in Myrtle Beach so we can see our friends and so we can uh, get some pictures. That would be nice. Because sometimes you just need to get away and do some art and not worry about work. This isn't work. This is fun. I have a full-time job. I, uh, I'm a government auditor. Um, I work for the Marine Corps. So I'm an internal auditor. And that's not a secret that I'm an auditor. Promise. But doing art for me is uh, relaxing. It relaxes my brain. So that's why I like to do art. So now I'm just putting a top coat on it. I'm going to set the project to the side and let it dry. So um, once it dries, I can put the wax on it and then start the other project with it. I just want to make sure all the edges are down good. And I can come back in and fill the colors in. You guys can see that right there. I can fill that in and make it match. And I'll do that in a little bit after I get the um, stencil on it. So I am actually 
going to put this to the side. Hey, memory, is it memory? That's a cool name. Did I pronounce it Williams? From Texas. How's the weather where you're at in Texas? Please let me know how you pronounce that name. That is a cool name. Sit it over to the side. Don't fall. If you hear something crash, it's that falling. Hopefully it doesn't fall. I'm gonna put this on top of the um the board. So so this is my other project here. Let me put the lid back on the screen so I don't get everywhere. How about that? So I've got this, and I also got this at Michael's. I'm sorry, Dollar Tree, and I'm pretty sure I paid three dollars for this little burger. I like it too. I'm gonna put this in my wall. So what I'm gonna do with him is I'm gonna decoupage him, and I I know it doesn't fit, but it's okay. And then I'm going to um. I'm going to try to put some foil on top. I don't know if that's going to work or not. But I'm going to put him on my wall. So, let's see if I can get this working the way I think it's going to work. So, I am just putting medium. This is metal. This is galvanized metal. And I am just putting my um, medium on top of the metal. And I am actually going to rip the paper and put it on top so I can, because um, I just want the colors. And this one here is the owl. So I'm just going to hmm. and so, uh, as long as you get got my exacto knife because I want to make sure I get it trimmed pretty close and get close it'll be good there we go and for me it doesn't have to be perfect for you if you need it perfect, then you can make it perfect. I'm not so worried about perfect. It may take me the whole craft thing to do this one. So I am going to just rip little shreds of it. Put it on. And then smooth it out. And then I'm going to take my exacto knife and then I'm just going to cut where the holes are. I'm just going to put it on the metal. My fingers will quit sticking to it. And then once I'm done, I can clean it all up with a, um, oh, like when it's all done, I can clean it up with a, with a, um, with a sponge, with a sanding sponge. Sorry. Concentrating on this and not talking. Fatal flaw. Sorry. Talk too much and not paying attention. That's a squirrel issue, if you don't know. Personal squirrel issue. I have lots of squirrel issues. It's okay. I know I put some of that down there. What the heck? Is it not going to stick for me? It was doing it earlier. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Got to get it stuck, right? And like I said, I can I can worry about um, cutting it later. How about that? I'm just going to put it on now and worry about cutting it later. 
exactly what I'm going to do. I will clean it up and trim it after a while. Right now, I'm just going to try to get it on the um, galvanized stuff. You guys can see what I'm doing. And again, this one's from the owl. And I'm just going, I'm trying to get it all on here without my finger sticking to it, which it is. There we go. My fingers got medium on it and paint on it. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to continue around this and I'll come back afterwards and I will trim up the, um, I will trim up the paper. I'm just going to put it on there because my hands are sticky because I have medium on it. So I'm just going to put the paper on. And this is galvanized metal and I got it from Dollar Tree and I could do, I did this earlier and it worked for so. Uh, hopefully you guys try it. Let me see your projects if you do it. See if you're having better luck at this than I am. Because holy moly, it's not working like I want it to today. But does anything ever work like you perfectly think it's going to? Not for me. Not for me. My brain says yes and the paint says no. That's usually how it works. I'm going to cut it in bigger pieces and then I'll cut it out. I think that's the best thing to do. Hi, Felicia from Santa Barbara. Oh, you took a man. A nap sounds wonderful. A nap sounds wonderful. How's the weather in Santa Barbara? It is, what, 73 here and sunny at Topsail Beach, North Carolina. And like I said, I'm going to come back after everything dries because my fingers are wet and it keeps pulling up and trim out because if you can see underneath, you can see underneath where the paper is. I'll trim out the paper. Oh, it's beautiful here too. I'm glad it's beautiful out there. I know it's been wet, wet, wet lately. And again, I'm, I'm decoupaging this galvanized um, sun. See if I can get it to work the way I want it to. See, my fingers are sticky, so it's not working well because I keep pulling it back up. But I got to make sure there's enough medium down. So I'm just going to continue to do that. And this is the, again, this is the owl um, decoupage tissue from Recycle Tissues. If, you're not, if, you, if I didn't say that like already, because I can't remember if I did or not. So I'm just going to keep saying it so I know for sure that I sent it, said it. Glad you guys are joining me today. Okay. I know it's not exactly. I'll come back and clean it up. After the, after the medium dries, it's going to be fine. You guys working on projects this week? Or, oh, oh, yeah, I forgot. Today is tax day, y'all. Oh, my word. I did my, I give my stuff to my uh, CPA. Uh, I can't. That's too much for me. I'm an internal auditor for the government, but I cannot do World War taxes. It is not the same. It is not the same. So I give it to my CPA, and it's well worth paying her to do them correctly, because I know for a fact I would not do them correctly. I know my flaws, and I know for a fact I will not be able to do real world accounting at all. At all. Not that I'm corrupt, because I'm not. 
it's just real world accounting and, and government accounting that I do, the auditing is not the same thing. Not, not, not. We have different appropriations in the government. And yeah, no, I would not do it. I wouldn't even attempt it. This little thing was um, the galvanized little sun was uh, three dollars at Dollar Tree. I bought it. I bought it a while back. I'm pretty sure they still had some up there in Sneeds Ferry today. Pretty sure. And I know, I know, I know. I need to cut out the um, the pieces. I will get to that. Taxes done last month. Oh, Felicia. You are amazing because I don't know anybody who does their taxes well on time. I usually, she usually goes, hey, is it okay to file them late if, if I mark them and, and do them late? I don't care. I don't care. Just as long as I don't have to pay a penalty. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> so I just pass her all the information. Actually, I do most of my stuff in QuickBooks. Because I forget to save the receipts and QuickBooks allows me to save the receipts. I have QuickBooks for a uh, small business and I can save mileage and all that mess in there. And it saves me headache. My daughter, our daughter, Ophelia, she's 27. <laughs> and I think this is the first year since she was 14 when she started working that she got taxes done on time. Because I fussed at her all last week to get them done on time. <laughs> So she paid them last week because I was stressing because last year she did not pay them and she went to go buy a house. Oh, okay. I stopped talking, Frank. I'm doing a craft. I'm trying to do this uh, galvanized sun with decoupage. I'm using the owl. Take a wash tissue. I will come back once everything dries to trim up the paper. My other project is drying over there. Oh, how did I come up with this idea? I uh, just thought about it. Um, trying to think of different ways to put decoupage on uh, different things. Um, I thought this might be fun with the different colors. Um, it looks cute. I'm going to come back when it's dry and just trim it. I could just paint it, but I, I needed a decoupage project. Um, 
And usually what happens, how I think of all these projects, is when I see something, I see colors on it, or I see it painted differently, or I see it done something different, and I want to paint it. That's how I usually do it. It's usually not a idea. I try to not do ideas that I see before. It's hard. Or do it a different way or a different color or, you know, because I like to upcycle um, decor items. So I don't know if you guys know of Ollie's, but there's Ollie's here in Jacksonville. And Ollie's is like a discount place. So they have cool, uh, what is it called, um, decor items, but they're not very colorful or not very pretty, and I wouldn't put them in my house because I don't like decor in the first place. But I like doing stuff different. I don't like to have stuff that everybody else has. Um, plus, isn't it cool, though? And when I come back and cut all that out, It'll be, let's see. And it's still that paper, but it's all kind of jumbled up because it's, see, I got glue all over my fingers and it's sticking to my fingers. I hope everybody else thinks it's a cool idea. Different idea. I was hoping it was going to stick the way I thought it was, and it is, except for the fact it wants to stick to my fingers because my fingers are, they have medium all over them. Oh, drop my thing. And there's a couple of little places I'm going to go back and fill in, like right here. I'm going to fill in this right here. And I may not get to show you guys how I'm cleaning it up because I have to get to the other project. But I will definitely, definitely, definitely finish it. And I will show you what it looks like. So. Here. So I'm just trying to cover all the metal parts. And there's still some little, little piece right actually little piece right there. Oh, see it's too small. Thank you, Alicia. So I have got just about everything covered. There's a little piece right there. So that is everything covered. So when it dries, I will come back and I will finish paint or I will clean the rest of it up. But it has to dry first because, because, okay guys, note this off. Clean off the, take the lids before you put them back on because they never open. If I don't, I never do them right. Oh, goodness. So what I think has happened, 
is Frank, can you open this for me? Never mind. I got it. Thank you. So look, I did not clean the edges of the things, and so it's a mess. And what this is, is foil adhesive. So I'm going to foil the middle here. And I am going to, you know, put the foil on. It takes 15 minutes after you put the foil on to, um, I'm sorry, 15 minutes after you put the adhesive on to incorporate the foil so it'll stick. So I'm going to put the adhesive on here and I got the foil, this foil from Artistic Paint Studio. I'm going to try to make sure I smooth it out. So I want to have it smooth and my fingers are sticking to it. And then I'm going to put some foil on the face. So I'm going to try not to have brush strokes, which is going to be hard with this brush. So you put the adhesive on, you wait 15 minutes, and then you can put on the foil to give it a different little look. So I'm going to put that on and put that to the side. And then I'm going to put the lid back on. And then I'm going to put it to the side. And this is going to dry. And it's 642. So we'll see if I can get that to dry. I'm going back to this project because this project is just about dry. And what I'm going to do here is I am going to grab some, this is Fusion uh, Clear Wax, and I'm going to wax this. I'm just going to grab a tissue, and I'm just going to wax it. Just, just, just going to wax it. Put a good wax down on top of it, because I want to put that uh, stencil on top. And I'll come back later and fill in this. You won't even know that's there. I'll do it like the green, just add a little, couple little layers on it. It'll fit right in. Make sure I got a, got a good top coat of wax on here. So I got a wax coat on here, good wax coat. If you don't have a wax, a good wax coat on when you pick up the paper or pick up the stencil, it'll stick to the paper. And I can fix it and I have fixed it, but I'd rather it stay down than not have to worry about fixing it. There's that project. And with the stencil, it's a Magnolia Design stencil, so they're sticky. So this came in that kit that I had. Oh, uh, put it on the floor, roll it under the foot. It will, yeah, it opened. I'm just, I need to clean the mess. That's what I need to do. So thanks for the tip, Felicia. So this is a um, stencil from Magnolia Design Company. And I'm a creator for them as well. And this came from the um, craft kit with a three pack that I just got. Um, I opened it in early... March, I think. So it will be on my website if you want to see what was in it. But this is one of the stencils. And I'll, all the girly stuff, and I never get these edges. My fingers are sticking. There it goes. So I never get these. Oh, I don't want all the girly stuff to be pink and frilly. Some of it, I mean, not everybody's pink and frilly. I don't know about you guys, but... Oh, he's pink and silly. So I'm going to fluff this a little bit so it's not so sticky. And I'm going to put it on this waxed board. And I got it around the other way. So I'm going to turn it around so it faces me the correct way. I want the tractor or whatever this thing is this way. And then I'm going to put this down. I'm going to put it down and then I'm going to smooth it out, right? Just going to smooth it out. I 
again, I'm a creator for um, Magnolia Design Company. So, and I just gotta make sure it's down good. And I'm gonna use white. And I'm not going to use the chalk paste for it. I am going to use actual paint. And it's okay as long as you clean it off. Ugh. Again, clean your things before you put the lids on. Ugh. Look at that. Yuck. Do you think I will learn? Absolutely never will learn, I don't think. Never, never. So I'm going to tip it in this, and then I'm going to take it off with my napkin. And I'm going to pounce. And most of the ladies like to take a little scraper to scrape the stuff across. I always put too much paint on my scraper and it makes it smear. Hey, 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 it's me. It's me. Calm down. See, I already put too much paint on. I'm going to try to make sure that all of this is filled out. And if I didn't get enough wax on it, it will pull up the paper. And then I'll just take it and fill in like I did the sides. It's not a huge deal. But I hope it doesn't do that. But if it does, it's okay. I'm going to try to raise this up. See, look, here's what happens. We don't put enough paper down. Look, I didn't put enough wax on. This is what happens. So it didn't work. It did not work. So what I'm going to have to do is redo this and then put this back on top and then I'm clean this off. This You can use this like 10 times, but it did not work because I guess it didn't dry and I didn't put enough wax on. That's okay. I can fix that. We meant for it to be distressed. It's okay. We're going to clean it up. I'm going to repaint this a little bit. I'm not even going to use another piece of paper. I'm going to repaint that. And then I'm going to clean up my stencil and try to put it down again and lift it back up. But this time I'm going to try to make sure this is dry and make sure I have enough of the wax down to make sure it doesn't lift. My bad. This is what usually happens to me. A couple times I've got, I've got good lately on how to fix it, but this one, not good. That's okay. We can fix it. I just need to clean it up and redo it. And some of this paper I might be able to salvage. Because as you can see, it's actually pulling right up. Some of it is. It's okay. Yeah. Life happens. So, not it didn't work, but I can fix it, and I'll make it work, and I'll show you guys um, after it dries off. After I fix it, I'll show you guys what I've done to it, and uh, 
hopefully, well, I can't get the work because I've done it before. But you just need to make sure you put enough wax down and make sure that the paper is dry. A little damp. I thought it was good. It was not good. That's okay because we can just fix that. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. And look, it's on a live and it's not right. That's okay. That's okay. I'll fix this and I'll show you guys how I fixed it. I'm going to put this to the side. And then I'll come back to that afterwards and I'll show you how I fixed it. No big deal. But this here is my second project I was working on. And my fingers are sticky. The other projects I'll come back and I will fix it. And I'll show you guys the after part. You know, sometimes we do crafts and they don't work. So, all these leftovers, I'll do something with them. Okay, I'm going to see that's tacky, so I think that's ready. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take this and I'm going to put it down. And this is foil. And like I said, I got it from this piece here. I got these from the um, artist, or yeah, artist studio, I think it was, that's it. Um, so 
paint studio, art, artistic paint studio is where I got it from. So I am just going to take something and rub this down to make sure it's all on there. And I may have to come back because it doesn't look certain places aren't going down good because it's tight. That's okay. I'm going to pick it up and it's going to actually leave some color. lift it up and if it's somewhere that didn't come off then you can either try to push it down again and do it again or you can put more paint down wait 15 more minutes and pull it up right there I may not have got enough paint or paste it's sticky though I might just have to grab another piece of paper see how that's kind of leaving it colorful little thing there look at that and the, you see where it pulled it off? And this is just foil. And I'll come back and redo the other project. Not a big deal. It messed up. I didn't let it dry. This is not tissue, this is foil. My fingers are sticking to the foil. It goes like this. And anywhere that there's uh, adhesive and there's no foil, it will stick to that. So. need to finish cleaning up but it, it is time it has been an hour so what i will do is i'll finish up my project and i will post pictures online and let you guys see how i fix it um the other project i think i'm going to record it to show you guys how i'm fixing it and then i will post it in my youtube channel just so you guys can see my oopsie and how i fix it um otherwise hopefully you guys have a wonderful weekend week and weekend and i will talk to you next tuesday um, thank you guys for showing up and have a wonderful day.